Hello Balloonies, David and I are on holiday in Northumberland and we've been visiting all kinds of scary castles and stately homes. It's just a fabulous part of the world and I've been inspired to make a Dracula. So for this Dracula you're going to need just four balloons. You're going to need two five inch rounds. So I've got a lime green and a black and I've got a 160 in black and a 160 in red. If you can't get 160s, then use 260s. That's absolutely fine. But uh, I could well imagine Dracula living in some of the castles and uh, uh, old homes that we've been visiting. So let's get started. So take your black and I'm using the Qualitex hand pump. So I always bring uh, a few balloons on holiday with me. It doesn't feel right traveling without them. So I've inflated that with five strokes of the hand pump and then I'm just going to let a little bit of air out just to round it off a little bit. So we're not sizing these exactly. You just want a slightly rounded shape and then take your hand pump. And I like to just hang on to that uh, against my pump. And then I'm going to inflate the round. One, two, three, off the pump straight away and just round that off. So, okie dokie. And then take the two balloons, cross over the necks and wrap those around, okay, and tie together. So that's what you've got. You've got the beginnings of this super quick and easy Dracula. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos, which I publish every week. And I really hope you like this video as well. Okay, so that's our body. Next, take your 160. And I'm inflating with the Qualitex hand pump, which I tend to do with these 160s, unless I've trimmed off uh, the the nozzle end. So you just need to sort of wiggle the balloon a little bit so it's over the nozzle and then inflate. And I've got a tail of about, whoops, <laughs> about five fingers or so. Let a little bit of air out and then tie. Okay. And what you can't see is that David is just sitting next to me. I keep hitting him with the balloon. So, <laughs> um, right, just take hold of that knot, fold the balloon over and we want to make a loop twist of about two fingers. So just wrap that around and if you can take hold of that knot and nozzle and just pass that through the centre. If you've made a really small loop it can be tricky. Okay, but that's just going to help ensure that that doesn't come undone and make another small loop to match this one. So these are going to be Dracula's hands, okay? So we want them close in size, but they don't have to be exact, okay? So there you go. And if you have got a bit more of that neck and nozzle, wrap it around just to secure everything. So that's what you've got. Give your balloon a bit of a squeeze. And Wrap the arms around. Okay, wrap that balloon around. And you just want to cross those arms over a little bit in front of Dracula's body. You see that? And then wrap that into those pieces there. Once you've done that, you can break this off or cut it off. Okay, and then tie a knot if you want to and tie a knot in this one okay so we're going to use this so hang on to this next take your 160 red and whoops <laughs> and just inflate with the hand pump okay so we don't need much of this at all soften a little bit just let a little bit of air out okay and make a soft bubble okay of about two fingers and then make a small loop again of two to two and a half fingers and just wrap that around 
and then make another loop to match this one as closely as you can. Again, if it's slightly out, it doesn't matter. Don't worry too much. Let's wrap that around. Okie dokie. And then we can break off the rest of this, okay? We're not going to use the rest of that. We can save it for something else. Okie dokie. Just tie a knot. And then you can take hold of this knot and nozzle, just pull that upwards, bend it over, and twist that little bubble around. And that's just going to pinch twist that bubble and make a little bow. Okay, so that's what you've got. So take that little piece of uh, black 160 that you had left and wrap the knot and nozzle into that red bubble that red pinch twist okay so that's what you've got give it a bit of a squeeze and then position the bow at the front and then wrap make a loop around the back of the head like that so this is going to be vampire's um, doctor's collar and then just wrap what's left here in the front off the rest of this. I'm just going to go and get my scissors. So just cut off the end and tie a knot, okay? And then you can wrap the excess around, just lose that in the design, okay? And if you've got any red excess, you can wrap that around and just trim it off if you need to. Okay. So let's just arrange everything. So this is what you've got at the moment. And what we want to do, we just want to shape this collar a little bit. First by pushing it up slightly and slightly um, massaging here, these corners here just to give a little bit more shaping and you'll find that the collar with the bow just kind of sits like this around the head. Push it up a little bit more if you want to. Okay and now for the face. I'm using a fine point sharpie okay and for quite a bit of this design I'm going to be using the flat part rather than the tip of the brush okay if you need to you can just push this out of the way a little bit if that helps okay and I'm going to do an arc upwards and then the same thing on the other side but I want these to be different sizes so I'm going to make this one slightly bigger so it's a, it's a bit like an M and then draw pointy ear and another one on the other side okay so we can go round with the flat part of our fine point just making all that a little bit thicker if we want to okay so you don't need to shade all this in black if you don't want to and what i tend to do is i just fill in the peak dracula's peak here so again using the flat point of the sharpie the flat part of the sharpie i just kind of fill that in so you can just give the impression of hair and then we'll draw the eyes and I'm going to do these different sizes and then a larger one on the other side and then a big smile and then with a white adding paint pen you just want 
a couple of small glints in the eyes. And then we can just straighten up the collar just by pulling this up around the head and pulling the arms down a little bit. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll like this one next.